just on a little bus tour at the moment. There's our bus, we just stopped off at the markets. I've just been for a bus tour around the island, this is where the bus left from. Uh, that was a full morning tour, that was really, really awesome. Got to see a lot of sites and there's a lot of great information there about everything. Uh, this is my little rental car that came for free with the room. I just got to pay for fuel and insurance. The only downside to the car is Norfolk only Island only has one radio station. And it's country music. Ah! These geese run around the island. And the chickens are all wild. And the ducks. As well as the cows. They just run amok everywhere. All these trees that were planted over here were planted in honour of someone who lived to be over 100 years old. Whenever someone lives to be 100 years old on Norfolk Island, they do something special in honour of them. And the family of this lady planted 100 Norfolk pines. And now the daughter of the lady that they were planted for has turned 100 herself. So the family are obviously doing something right. Just out for a drive, um, doing a bit of exploring, and I've come across these massive fig trees. The root systems are absolutely huge. It's totally amazing, just alongside this little country lane. They're, exquisite, aren't they? they're amazing trees. Yeah. I had no idea they were here, I was just cruising around and. Cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then I saw the three behind them and I thought, oh my goodness. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. Definitely a photo opportunity or two. Cool they? Have a look at this here. There's a there's a Norfolk pine just growing in between the roots of this fig tree. It's just seeded there probably millions of years ago. Maybe not that long ago. I don't know. The roots of the fig tree have just totally gone all the way around the base of this pine tree. The pine just goes up and up and up and up and up. All the lower branches couldn't grow or they've broken off because it's too close to the other one. The only branches on this pine tree are above the canopy of the fig tree. I've come down here to a point that's called Rocky Point. That's a nice little walk down here, just a short little bush walk. Somewhere over in that direction over there, Australia, I think it's in that direction. Nice day for a swim. Not. Everything grows so well here. The Norfolk Island is actually the tip of a, a huge underwater volcano. So as you can imagine, the soil is just so rich in nutrients. Go. Rocky Point. That's Phillip Island over there. Not the same one that's in Victoria, obviously. And back around that headland there is Kingston and where my accommodation is. All around the place here there are these holes. They're everywhere, going underneath all the root systems and these trees. There's a sign saying to beware of mutton bird holes when I started the walk, so I'm assuming that these are where the mutton birds live. I can hear them. I can actually hear the birds underground.
Well, here we are, day one of the shoot. I'm heading off to the archery club within the hour. And the rain's coming in sideways. I think this morning might be a bit of a challenging shoot somehow. If anything, it's gonna be very memorable. Here we are, a place called Puppy's Point. This is a popular spot for everyone to come, have an evening, watch the sun going down. Uh, it's actually quite mild at the moment over this side of the island because the wind is on the other side, so it's not bad. An electric fence up here. Goes all the way along here to stop the cows from going over the edge. As you can see, there's always cows around here. Apparently cows have been over a few times. And they meet their deaths rather gruesomely on the rocks below. Well this is the Norfolk Island range here. We shot this yesterday. There's a lion down there. Have you got it on stuff I think so. Have they moved it much? No, it all seems that those ones are the same anyway. Who knows what they've done in the trees, though. <laughs> and those leopards are still there. That lion's still there, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Crocodile down in the water over there, around the corner. That deer on the hillside's gone. Oh, yeah. There's a deer over there yesterday, that's gone. We shoot up in the trees. Most of the targets are all in the bushes up there. The clubhouse is up there, but we don't actually start our shoot from the clubhouse for this event. When they have their local shoots, they do. But for this event, we uh, start at the church grounds here. The uh, archery club is on church ground, so all that bushland all through there is all owned by the church. And there's the church there, St Barnabas Chapel. Pretty impressive church. I think it's about 120 years old. And as usual, cows are on the road over there. Here's the front of the church. One of the island's feral chickens over there. I made a little bit of a tourist attraction here called A Walk in the Wild. which is one of the last rain, remaining areas of natural rainforest on the island outside of the National Park. Apparently only 12% of the island is rainforest now. 
which is a lot better than the percentage of rainforest left in Australia, but most of it was cleared by early settlers. Hello mister, what you doing there? It's sad here reading about all the native birds that were only found on Norfolk Island and they were wiped out by early settlers for food. Not only were they hunted for food but also for sport by the early officers. At least five endemic bird species and subspecies have now become extinct. Bloody humans. Standing here on the second highest peak in Norfolk Island called Mount Pitt. It's only a 15 minute walk to the summit of Norfolk Island from here. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, what I'm focusing on way down there in the distance is my accommodation. That's where I'm staying. And there's the old township of Kingston, the old penal colony down there. Where all the convicts were sent. And Nepean Island. I've lost now. And Phillip Island out there. So zooming back out from my accommodation. You can see the main centre of burnt pine down there. Main town. That's where everything is, the shops and everything. The airport over there. The runway. I'll just zoom around here. Sun's just setting over there towards Australia. And the summit is just over there, and that peak over there. It's only a little bit higher than this one. I reckon that the, tent, the island is actually a lot bigger than what it looks because there's so many valleys going up and down the whole island. There's hardly a flat area on it. It's just up and down all over the place. The airport's probably the flattest area, which is why they put it there.